Polar Bear's icy adventure, from Tiny Cub to Mighty Polar Bear. Hello, young explorers! Today, we're going on an icy adventure to discover the incredible stages of growth and development of a baby polar bear named Pippa. But first, let's talk about why polar bears are so important for our ecosystems. Polar bears, like Pippa, are known as apex predators. They play a vital role in maintaining the balance of the Arctic ecosystem by regulating the populations of seals and other prey species. Now let's follow Pippa's journey from the very beginning. It all starts with Pippa's mom, who carries her in her womb for about eight months. That's almost as long as a human pregnancy. During this time, Pippa's mom eats lots of seals and fish to nourish herself and her developing cub. Finally, it's time for Pippa's grand entrance into the world. Baby polar bears like Pippa are called cubs. At birth, Pippa is tiny, weighing only about 1 pound, 0.5 kilograms, and measuring just 12 inches, 30 centimeters long. In the early days of her life, Pippa depends on her mom for warmth and food. She cuddles with her mom in their cozy den made of snow and ice. Pippa's mom feeds her rich, creamy milk that helps her grow strong and healthy. As Pippa grows, she starts to explore her icy surroundings. She learns to walk on the slippery ice and swim in the frigid Arctic waters. Pippa's diet includes seals, fish, and even the occasional whale carcass. These high-energy foods help her gain the weight she needs to thrive in the cold. As Pippa enters her teenage years, she becomes more independent and begins hunting on her own. She's also growing bigger and stronger. Pippa's hunting skills are essential for her survival and for maintaining the delicate balance of the Arctic food web. Pippa is now an excellent swimmer and is capable of covering long distances in the water. She uses her strong limbs to paddle and can swim for hours, searching for seals on ice floes or in the water. Pippa, like most polar bears, is known for their patience. They often wait near breathing holes or seal dens in the ice, staying as still as possible for extended periods, waiting for seals to surface to breathe. This stillness and patience are essential for a successful ambush. When a seal surfaces near their location, polar bears use their powerful limbs to pounce on their prey. Often breaking through the ice or snow cover to access the seal. They strike swiftly and with great force, making it difficult for seals to escape. Now, after many years of growth and adventures in the icy Arctic, Pippa has become a full-grown polar bear. She's a mighty and magnificent creature, weighing up to 1,500 pounds, 680 kilograms, and standing around 10 feet, 3 meters, tall. In a playful mood, 
Pippa flops down in the snow glide around clumsily, slipping and sliding in a slapstick manner. This polar bear might even have a preference for certain ice flows, like a makeshift skating rink. Did you know that polar bears cannot eat penguins? Why? Geographic separation. Polar bears and penguins inhabit vastly different regions of the world. Polar bears are found in the Arctic, primarily in the Northern Hemisphere, while penguins are exclusively found in the Southern Hemisphere, primarily in Antarctica and surrounding areas. These two species are separated by thousands of miles of ocean and ice, making direct interaction impossible. Remember, young explorers, polar bears like Pippa are crucial for the health of the Arctic ecosystem. They help control seal populations, which in turn helps maintain the balance of the entire ecosystem. So, the next time you think of polar bears, remember Pippa and her amazing journey. They are true Arctic champions! Thank you for joining us on Pippa the Polar Bear's icy adventure, from a tiny cub to a mighty polar bear. We hope you enjoyed this journey. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting stories about the wonders of nature.